Chelsea have eyed up Jean-Claire Tadebo to replace Thiago Silva, who is set to leave the Blues at the end of the season. The centre-back, who is also wanted by Manchester United, has been warned by Nice he could be up for sale in 2024. Silva, 39, is renowned as one of the best defenders in the Premier League. The veteran has made 137 appearances for Chelsea across four seasons after moving from Paris Saint-Germain in 2020. But with his contract at Stamford Bridge set to expire next summer, the Brazilian's future at the club is uncertain. The West London side will be short of centre-half options if Silva departs, as Trevo Chalabas Chelsea spell comes to an end too. And with Wesley Fofana currently recovering from a knee ligament injury, there is no guarantee he will be fit enough to start the 2024-25 campaign. Tadebo is potentially an excellent choice to take Silva's spot in Mauricio Pochettino's squad. The ex-Barcelona star has spent just over two seasons on the French Riviera. The 23-year-old has enjoyed a successful start for Nice, playing 104 times and helping his side on their way to the Coupe de France final in 2021-22 despite missing out on Tadebo in the summer due to Harry Maguire's failed transfer to West Ham. The Red Devils still have an eye on the Frenchman. Whether Nice allow the French international to depart mid-season depends on their standing in the League 1 table. So far this term, the French Giants are unbeaten in 11 games and sit top of the league a point ahead of rivals PSG. Nice have conceded just four goals in 2023-24 thanks to the help of Tadebo's defensive prowess. Chelsea stars Enzo Fernandez and Marc Cucurella are close to receiving a suspension for accumulating five yellow cards. Any Premier League star who accumulates five cautions inside the first 19 league games of the season will be suspended for one match. This was the case for Nicholas Jackson after he was suspended for the 2-0 win against Fulham last month. The Senegalese striker picked up five bookings in his first six Premier League appearances. Mauricio Pochettino is now facing an increasing risk of losing Fernandez and Cucurella through suspension if either player picks up two more yellow cards in the next eight Premier League fixtures. The 19-game mark offers players a slight respite, but suspensions then become more severe if 10 yellow cards are racked up before the 32nd game of the season. Jackson was given his sixth yellow card of the season against Tottenham on Monday night before he netted his first hat-trick for the club. Fernandez and Cucurello will need to be disciplined moving forward given both players have proven their importance to Pochettino's side in recent weeks. The Argentina international has formed a strong partnership with Moises Caicedo in midfield, adding stability to the team and allowing others to raise their performance levels. Cucurella appeared to be nearing an exit at Stamford Bridge in the summer, but has enjoyed a strong vein of form following Ben Chilwell's injury. The Spaniard made his first Premier League start of the season in the 2-0 win against Fulham. Cucurella's first two appearances were at right-back, before he switched to left-back following Reese James' return to action. It's unlikely that either Fernandez or Cucurella are suspended following the clash against Manchester City this afternoon. However, as Pochettino looks for consistency moving forward, he will hope that both players can avoid receiving any more yellow cards before the 19-game deadline. Mauricio Pochettino's run of big tests at Chelsea continues, and it could hardly get any more tough. In Manchester City, he is coming up against a side that has been banging in goals this season and seemingly now getting close to peak flow. After losing to Arsenal before the last international break, a game that rounded off three defeats in four games, City have now won five in a row, scoring 17 and conceding just three. Pep Guardiola's men are back at the summit and will be aiming to stay there for the rest of the campaign whilst Chelsea could fall to 13th by the end of the weekend. If there is to be a shred of hope, it's that Pochettino's meeting with the citizens at Tottenham in 2019 was also the source of one of his greatest ever achievements as manager. Although Spurs lost 4-3 at the Etihad Stadium in the second leg, it was a result that saw them progress to the Champions League semifinals against pretty much all odds. On a dramatic night, one that Raheem Sterling won't remember fondly, Pochettino progressed through on away goals. Since then, however, he has lost four of the past six meetings. City are also the side that he has faced most as manager, and that comes off the back of Chelsea being comfortably beaten in all four meetings last term. The Blues are certain underdogs, and for good reason, but do come in off the back of one of their best results, if not performances, in recent years. They have also excelled in big matches this season and are unbeaten in games against Liverpool, Tottenham, Arsenal, and Brighton. Go unchanged. Don't change a winning formula. Don't fix what ain't broke or something like that. 
With what is currently available to him, this is probably the strongest side at the moment and has the least unknowns. Reese James must surely start at right back after playing against Tottenham and coming off for 15 minutes, the rest slots in around him. Axel de Sesai and Thiago Sliva have formed a good relationship at the back, and even if Levi Colwell let the occasion get to him in North London, he is a much more reliable operator than Mark Cucurella on the left. Enzo Fernandez wasn't at his best at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but did take a blow to the ankle 30 minutes in. He will be needed for his work on the ball more than ever against unrelenting opposition. Raheem Sterling has a point to prove against old friends and Cole Palmer likewise. The 21-year-old has changed the entire complexion of Chelsea's team and won't be going anywhere. Nicholas Jackson scored a hat-trick against Spurs but struggled with most of the basics. On Sunday, he will need to do all of the basics to elite levels to even get a kick. Possible 11, Sanchez, James, Desaisai, Silva, Colwell, Gallagher, Fernandez, Caicedo, Palmer, Jackson, Sterling. The Arsenal Killer. For 75 minutes at Stamford Bridge last month, Chelsea had Arsenal in total lockdown, catching them on the counter and reducing the threat to long shots from distance. With Palmer and Conor Gallagher acting as pressing forwards in a 4-2-2-2-4-4-2 shape, it was the best defensive display seen this season. Against City, Chelsea would be brave to press too high especially with the speed of their backline, but in keeping formation and following the ominous city triangles and rotations across the pitch, it will take quite the effort. This would see Jackson miss out, something that seems harsh given his confidence will be at an all-time high. Mikhailo Mudrik would also have to come in, and that poses its own risk from the start. He is maybe the most dangerous Chelsea player at any given moment, but also the most vulnerable. Against City, it is impossible to want to handicap yourself at the possible chance of him running really quickly behind Nathan Ake. There is sense to this approach, especially as it was Mudrick that did his defensive work so well against Arsenal and Buke Osaka, but this is question of the like that Pochettino, even after beating Tottenham, is not yet ready to face the outcome of if it goes wrong. Possible 11, Sanchez, James, Desaisai, Silva, Colwell, Gallagher, Fernandez, Caicedo, Palmer, Sterling, Mudrick. Shuffle the pack. History dictates and logic screams that this is not the approach that we will see, but it is worth discussing anyway. Chelsea's only real selection decision, because the Mudrick one just doesn't seem likely, is in defense and more specifically at fullback. Sure, Jackson could miss out, but if he was going to then, it would have happened against Tottenham after the Arsenal example, and it really makes no sense to do so after the rewards he did at least eventually offer as a center forward. Into the back four, though, and even if the Cucurella discussion is over, it could be said that Benoit Badiashile is a better option in the middle. The thing working against him is that with only 65 minutes of football against championship outfit Blackburn Rovers, he is hardly match fit to take on the Erling Holland. 